Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Fishkeeping Jamaica. Welcome to my channel. Remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and also follow me on Instagram for updates, more frequent updates than whatever exists on my channel. For today, I'm looking at uh, cichlids. Uh, cichlids fries, cichlids eggs, cichlids babies. So, stay tuned. Check, 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 check. Well, it's another one. Many persons do have cichlids in their aquarium, right? And having cichlids in the aquarium, one of the things that you don't have to worry about, at least that's in your mind, right? That you don't have to be worrying about uh, whether or not the, the parents are going to consume the eggs, or whether or not the parents are going to consume the fries, or all of that, or whether or not the, the fries are going to be easily consumed by tank mates okay fair enough that's one of the characteristic traits of the cichlid that you have which to actually protect the eggs guard the eggs protect the fries but did you know that the fries are actually protected up until about probably about two to three weeks and then after that they are practically on their own so like a cleaning baby you know baby that balls or cries for his mother or her mother um on a regular basis after two to three weeks chances are if those little fries come around the the parents nest because usually once they have laid and the fries are swimming the fries should be on its way or should be taken out and the parents will be at it again getting new uh, spawn getting new fries getting new fish what i discovered with my uh uh, fish with my cichlids that's my chromite cichlids and my convict cichlids is that these cichlids after about two to three weeks when the fries are swimming around with the, the, the parents right the parents will actually lay some more eggs and after a while you realize that of that 100 and odd fries that usually swim around the parent they usually see like five or ten or fifty right and gradually it dwindle down until you see none so after careful observation for about uh roughly about two or three spawns i realized that after a while the fries are there the parents actually consume the fries the parents consume the, yeah, that sickly parents actually consume the fries so if you have secret within your aquarium or within your pond or within your tank and there's one not enough hiding space two the, 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 the tank or the pond is not large enough to hold the whole entourage of fries plus the parents in one side you're gonna have a situation where in which the fish will always be spawning but you will never see the fries um, getting big to footage and energy boy here yeah, you can sell or yes you can actually house in a different aquarium so my take on the matter is that as soon as you see the fries uh you should it's easy to remove the parent put them into a different container a different pond a different aquarium and if they do spawn again you, you move them around so by the time they you, you're actually full to capacity with fries you what you could do you could put it when they reach to a certain size you could put all the, the babies together let them go up in that one container uh, one aquarium while you have the parents again in a separate container this is if you wish to actually breed whatever cichlid you have whether it be uh, Jack Dempsey, Oscar, Peacock, Chromite, uh, Convict this is the same thing right uh, for my Jack Dempsey, I have several caves, caverns, hiding places in my um, Jack Dempsey pond. So therefore, with my Jack Dempsey, whenever they do spawn and have young ones, as soon as the young ones start to swim out on their own, uh, the parents are not perturbed about whether or not it comes around because it, it doesn't really happen because the pond is very large. You might have um, some of them being picked off by other tank mates, which is Jack Dempsey. You know, it is really it really happened right because presently I, I have some juvenile um jack dempsey swimming around with my very large um jack dempsey that 
could easily gulp up the the fries of the the the, the, the Jack Dempsey itself. So this is just a take um, based on my observation, my experience. Uh, cichlids do consume their fries, especially when the fries, uh, you know, they use to this parental protection, and the fries keeps on coming around the nest where the new eggs, or should I say, the new spawn exists, haven't hatched as yet. The parents view these, new, these old fries as threat, and they will actually consume them. This is really here for another fish keeping in Jamaica. I hope that um, this little discourse was of value to you. Do have a wonderful day. Really here for fish keeping in Jamaica. I am. Okay.